Hi, my name is Spencer Gordon, and in this episode we're going to talk about how to use a tripod. So when you get a tripod, it's compact like this. The first thing you want to do is set up the tripod to your desired height. So you open up the legs, and you loosen the collars on the legs to extend the leg to your desired height. Once you have the tripod to your desired height, you want to make sure the tripod is level. Now why do you want to make sure the tripod is level? In post-production, if your tripod is not level, all your pictures are going to be a little bit off angle and you're going to have to straighten them. So this is going to be a little, si a little saving time tip for you. So most tripods actually have a leveling bubble on them. So you just put the bubble inside the circle. And actually I got it pretty close. There we go. We're level. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to put the quick plate on the bottom of the camera. Quick plate came off of the head. It was right on the bottom of the camera. Just threads on. Now, most tri tripods do have quick plates, but if yours doesn't, there's a threaded screw on your head of your tripod, and it will mount to the bottom of your camera. You want to make sure the quick plate is straight on the bottom of the camera. And just for extra security, I'm going to make it ooh, finger, finger tight just to make sure it's secure, and I just use a penny for that. Okay, now we put the camera on the head of the tripod. Let me turn this around so you can see it. This is the quick release lever. That's what's going to hold the quick plate onto the tripod head. Make sure that's down nice and secure. There we go. Ready to rock and roll. Good. Now, remember, I talked about this tripod before in a previous episode. And the special thing about this tripod is you can actually take the column out, it's got one of those multi-angle central column systems. Such a long word. Anyway, so what you can do is you can actually adjust this column so it will go perpendicular to the floor. It's a very nice feature. There, it's on there, right? Make it nice and secure, everything's good and tight. Now, just to be safe, if you're using a DSLR, which is a bit heavier camera, you're gonna wanna counterweight the column. And the beauty of this column is, it's got a little hook right here for counterweight. Look at that, it even color coordinated for you. So you put that like that, and it's not bad to do it with a point and shoot either. It just makes the tripod that much secure. You just don't want to put too much weight here. You just want to balance it with whatever type of camera you're using on this side with the counterweight that you're using on this side. All right, a quick tip. Yeah! If you don't have a wireless remote to trigger the camera, which is actually a very good item to have, you can use the self-timer on the camera to actually fire the camera. And the reason you want to do that is when you fire the camera, you're actually going to shake the camera a little bit when you fire it. So, like I spoke in an earlier episode, you want to avoid camera shake. So use the self timer on the camera. Thanks for watching. My name is Spencer Gordon. You can follow me on Facebook, Spencer Gordon Studios, or on Twitter, Flash SG. If you have any specific photography questions, you can email me, Spencer at spencergordon.com. Thanks again.